Well, originally we set out actually on our uh, original project, which was to survey the Sunda Shell in Indonesia. However, uh, we received permissions, but they were with financial restrictions. So we ended up here in Borneo because it was close to Indonesia in striking distance. We had all this fabulous equipment on board, which we were going to use for the survey. And we decided that we would play with that equipment, keep that equipment in use. And the local divers here in Miri were also keen for us to assist them in finding wrecks that they could dive on so that the local community here in Miri could actually um, have extra wrecks to dive on, which we did. We found a, a small tug, which is now known as the Berry Coven wreck, which is really great. But in the meantime, the hands thought that there might be wrecks further out. So I Googled maybe a known wreck on the Laconia Shoals. And to my surprise, it led me to Roger Brooks's diary, which had mentioned to a wreck of the Viscount Melbourne on the Laconia Shoals. So from there, I did some more Google research and it didn't glean very much information. So I then I actually emailed the Singapore Library and I didn't expect a response. And I just asked, you know, do you have anything on this Viscount Melbourne? And I was quite surprised the following morning I received a personal email from one of them there uh, inviting me to go there and have a look at their records and they gave me the exact number of the microfilm that had the account of this wreck. So Hans and I went to Singapore for four days and in that time we spent the whole time at the library going through all of the microfilm that they had, um, digitalised and non-digitalised. And it was brilliant. Uh, we all of a sudden stumbled upon a published account of um, Harry Thompson. And Harry Thompson was the 16-year-old navigator on board who kept an account leading up to the time that the boat went up onto the shoals to after they left in their life rafts to what happened to each boat, full account. And so from that and in that account, it had a Latin long and Hans was just curious to see if we could find her and that's how it started and we did we went out we dropped the anchor we, we dived we not ourselves personally another guy we had on board dived and he came up going there's something down there there's something down there in the meantime Hans was in the the dinghy with the magnetometer giving confirmation that there was something down there and it's it's all gone from there basically